Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yoda if you're coming here for the first time. I will show you how to make steamed beans pudding. Moi moi. It's a very wonderful Nigerian dish. So yeah, these are the ingredients that you'll be needing. I'm going to list all of them in the description box. So feel free to take a detailed look. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to wash your beans. And not just ordinary washing. You want to soak it in water for like 10 to 15 minutes and then you need to scrub the beans so hard that their skin start to come uh, peel off okay so yeah that's how you wash the beans it's called the hauling which means that you scrub the beans until all the skin get off so yeah that's exactly what you see me doing here and because I don't want this video to be too long I'm not going to go into the details about how you need to do it just do what you see me doing here and you'll be fine okay you are going to sieve it and wash it as often as possible till you get rid of all the skin on each one of those beans can you see how clean that beans is looking right now yes now when you finish doing that you get all your peppers the red bell pepper as much as you want you know so feel free to tweak the amount to the um, number of people you have to feed yeah i'm feeding like seven people in this house right so yeah of course um i usually make lots of food okay <laughs> i make food in large quantities so i'm using about 10 long red chilies and one large red bell pepper so what i'm doing is that i am removing the seed the core inside you know so that when i put them in the beans in the moe moe it's not going to be you know too spicy yes so but if you don't mind the spiciness you can leave about two or three you know with the core intact So when I'm done, you know, um, cleaning my peppers, I usually wash off everything that I used or touched with soap so that, yeah, you know, somebody doesn't get um, some spiciness in their eyes. It can be really painful. So I wash the things that I used and I also clean up the sink as well, the sink area. So that just in case, including my hands, I wash my hands with soap as well because if I mistakenly put my eye, uh, hand in my eye, then I'm going to hear it. Now the next thing you need to do is to oil your cups or the containers you're going to be putting the moimoi in. So these are the containers that I use. And after that, um, I chop up the peppers, you know, like really crossly. That's the beans there. If you follow the white arrow, you can see the beans that I washed right there. Yeah, so I chop up every of the peppers and the onion and the fresh shallots. And then, of course, my garlic have already been uh, peeled and washed. And then I just put everything in the beans. And together, I'm going to be blending all of them together to a really fine 
Paste. I'll set aside the whole beans and vegetable mix that's the peppers and steam the fish that we're going to be using so I'm using mackerel for this um, you can use any other fish if you want to but I think mackerel is best suited for this kind of dish so yeah season your mackerel or your fish with curry powder seasoning powder and some salt and put some water and allow that to steam so while it steams I am going to blend the mix so I'm using my blender is like the heavy-duty type if you don't have this kind of heavy-duty blender if your blender is just a normal you know normal what's it called um, just your home blender you know the type that just blends smoothies and all that okay yeah it's okay you can use it but just make sure you add the beans bit by bit please don't add too much so that you don't overwhelm the blender otherwise it's going to stop on you in the middle of blending the beans okay just a little bit at a time and allow it to cool off you have to be patient while doing this okay yeah but if you have a heavy duty blender like mine please go ahead and blend as much as you want <laughs> So you see our fish is ready. I allow the water to drain to the barest minimum and then I take this fish out and I start to, you know, um, mash it up with my fork and I would also at the same time be taking away any bone. Now when you use macro fish, it doesn't have that many bones. It does have some bones but they are not so many like some other fish types of fish so you want to just carefully take out all the bones as much as you can so that not even one bone is left or even if there are then it's not going to be a problem especially if you have children who are going to be eating this meal and so this is our mommy mix and i'm going to go ahead and put all the ingredients any other ingredients including our um fish that i just uh, mashed up So I add the fish and then corned beef. Now this is optional, you don't have to use corned beef, but I just wanted to give it a kind of special flavor. Some olive oil. You can use any cooking oil of your choice, but olive oil is really very healthy. So that's why I'm using it. And then some black pepper powder. Mix everything together. Add some ground crayfish or shrimp powder. Mm -hmm. 
add some seasoning powder um, be careful with the seasoning because if you use the same ingredients that I'm using um, you would find out that the current beef has some salt in it already so you want to be careful not to overdo it with the seasoning So when you're ready, um, you've mixed everything properly, you're going to put a pot on medium heat with some hot water inside, okay? So, and just wait for that to boil. When the water starts boiling, so as you can see, I'm using two pots because of my large family. So yeah, when the water starts to boil, you want to open the pot and then you want to start um, scooping your moi moi into the containers that you've prepared, the ones you oiled before. So what I do is that when I scoop these moi moi into the containers, um, they don't have covers. So I prepared um, appropriate size of foil papers to cover them like so. And then when I cover it all, I put it into the boiling water right there in the pot. Please don't put too much water in your pot because if you do, when you put the moi moi inside, the water is going to start rising. And if the water covers the top of the containers, the moi moi containers, it's going to flow into the uh, moi moi and it's going to be watery. Okay. So just put a little bit of water and as the, as the moi moi keeps, you know, cooking and the water gets reduced, you add, you top it up little by little. Okay. So I also prepared these foil pockets because my containers were um, not enough for me. So I prepared these foil pockets. If you stay to the end of the video, you're going to see a very short tutorial on how, how to make foil pockets when you want to cook moi moi. So I'm down to the last um, moi moi, you know, packet. Yeah, let's get everything. You don't want to waste anything, okay? So here I've put everything here and I'm just going to cover the pots and let this cook steadily on medium heat for 45 minutes to 50 minutes so you want to be topping up the water as it keeps boiling so when the water goes down you top it up but don't overdo it so that the water doesn't flow into your moi moi okay and after 45 to 50 minutes your moi moi should be ready or you can open it up open one up dip a spoon inside and see okay so right here our moi moi is ready if you want to check, if you're not sure, all you need to do is to get the head, the edge of a spoon, sorry, and just dip it inside one. If it's not kind of runny, then you know it should be about, you know, ready to be eaten. You can also simply scoop some out and eat. I bet you it should be done after 45 minutes if you cooked it on a steady medium heat. Okay? So this is the finished look of the moi moi. It is so yummy. So what you want to do when you want to make foil packets is to cut a sizable amount of foil paper, fold it in two so that the, you have one sealed edge. Now the two open edges by the side, make a big fold on one and keep making tiny folds in the fold that you made, the big one. Yes. After that, you make one final fold and do the same for the other side and you have your foil packets ready for my moi. Alright, thank you very much for watching and for staying up to this moment. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like and comment. God bless you. See you in my next video.